friends. I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, today I want to take the time and read together our weekly story. It's a southern ranch. You can find it on page 128 on your reading books. So on page 128, that's the page that tells us the title and the author, as well as the genre, which is what type of story it is. So this week our story is an expository text, which tells about real people, places, and events. In this selection, you will read about a ranch in the southern part of the United States. And our question of the week, that means that's what we're thinking about this week as we read through everything, is why do we treasure special places? It's a really good question. So let's read about the ranch. The sun isn't up yet, and high above the land, the moon still gleams in dark skies. But lights are on in this place. Another day is starting on the ranch. Ranches are places that raise livestock. Horses, cows, sheep, and goats are livestock. This ranch raises cows or cattle. Ranch hands help look after the livestock and the ranch. And you can see some of our words this week, our vocabulary words, above and moon. And they highlighted those. And there's the moon right above the ranch. Ranch hands no longer take cattle up long trails. Ranch hands may drive pickup trucks, but they are still much like ranch hands long ago. Ranch hands still ride horses and use lassos. They still care for sick animals. Ranch hands still watch herds of cattle. So there's his rope and he's swinging it into a circle to try to lasso them. If cattle go in the wrong way, ranch hands must lead them the right way. In summer, if herds eat all the grass in one place, Ranch hands take them to another place. In winter, ranch hands feed herds hay and grain. Roundups take place in spring and fall. Ranch hands go out in the field and look for cows. This is not an easy job. Cows might be standing under a tree or grazing at the bottom of a hill. After getting eight or 10 cows, ranch hands must keep them together and keep them walking. Cows might run off Ranch hands must chase them and bring them back. Ranch hands need well-trained horses for this work. These horses can be steered by just a touch and they know cows. Sometimes cattle dogs help keep the cows together too. And we have our word eight, so our number eight, and touch, I was highlighted over here. Ranch hands bring small bunches of cows to the same spot. Nine or 10 become 40 or 50. Then ranch hands bring those bigger bunches to another spot. In time, the herd might number 600 or more. That's a lot. Keeping this big herd together is hard. Some ranch hands ride point or in front. Some ride swing or on each side. Some ride drag or in the back. That is a dusty job. You can imagine all those cattle kicking up all the dirt as they walk and the person has to ride behind all that. I'm sure that would kick up some dust for sure. Ranch hands take the herd to the ranch. Those cows that are being sold are loaded on trucks and shipped off. The rest will be sent back to graze on more grass. Roundup has ended. After so much time on horseback, weary ranch hands can finally rest. They eat and talk and laugh. Then it's back to work on the ranch. And there's our vocabulary word laugh highlighted. And on the back of that is our weekly questions. You'll notice one of them I'm going to be asking you to respond to on our flip grid later this week. So you, maybe you can be thinking about that in the meantime is which part of a ranch hands job would you like most to do? So they are busy, busy people. So if you were a ranch hand, which part of their job would you like the best? It's a really good question. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. Okay.